step of this video is to show you how to read a leads file. See, uh, L E D E S. This is the leads file I'm going to teach you how to read is the leads 1998B, which is pretty much the most popular leads file that you'll run into. There are others, and I, as this as this goes on, maybe I'll put up others because maybe people want to learn. Okay, sometimes you'll get these uh, files and they end up in this crazy web like this, but most of the time when you see this type of uh, leads file, you'll see them with this on the second line like this. You'll see this on the top line and this on the second line. I, you know, depending on how the system kicks it out, I guess. Um, what these leads files are, I, I don't even really know if I should really go into that because it's really about reading it. If you even know about leads files, then you know what it is for. So uh, I'm not going to go into the history or bullshit like that. So let's start it off. Let's set it off. So, okay. So um, the first thing you'll notice is the, the invoice date on oh, right here. And what what it is is that below it is you'll see there is a date. The date is kind of backwards when you look at it because this would be the year you see where it says 2015 and then you see the three which is uh, March of course and then the day which would be the fifth and this is the date of the invoice next uh, you'll notice that this is uh, it, it says invoice number there is a better way to look at this uh, you know it, putting it into an Excel file, but I don't think I'm going to teach you all that stuff right now. The important thing is to read this thing. All right, invoice number, uh, it goes usually in the second slot, of course, and it, that's, it is what it is. The client ID is 02251, that's the client ID, the, the, what the law firm uh, says is the client's number, basically. And the next is the law firm matter ID. And this law firm matter ID is this. Um, of course, the invoice total goes here. Billing start date and end date. I don't need to tell you the format because it's the same format. The description is the description of the invoice. Uh, it's for services rendered. Of course, these are the line numbers, how many lines there are. These, so This is a particularly small one, but they can really run many, many lines. Um, and F means that this is the fee item. And if you notice over here, it, you know, it, it shows you that there's fees, uh, but um, it can be expenses as it goes. But this was, uh, I'm just really focusing on the reading of the fees. I, I didn't have a leads file with an expense. I could have created one, but again, I didn't want to go through all that. I, I just want you to get the basics to understand how it's constructed and made. Um, and you'll see here is um, the actual billing transaction date. This is the date that it happened. Uh, oh, I skipped part. So let me go back here and uh, this point four is like the hours. Usually they're built in tenths of an hour. So these are point four, point four hours. And this is the total amount of the transaction. And it's kind of weird the way it, way it looks because this is how it works. So 135 times point four equals 54 so you're kind of going over here and here you know uh, it's almost like they should have put them kind of close together but that's not how it's done so um, and of course these are L codes um, I'm not going to go into L codes at this point but maybe on a future in a future date or on another video and I'll explain more L codes and these are A codes um, L codes means uh, litigation a codes means activity codes so a lot of clients make you do um, and these numbers of course correspond to different things um, and a 101 so it's activity code and a 101 and uh, litigation code 140 and I'll tell you uh, later on about the site possibly probably won't <laughs> okay so 
and of course this is the timekeeper ID this would be the ID that we uh, have in our system and this is what they prepare this is what they did they their what their transaction would be to prepare the budget and the amount and the uh, this number is their EIN which is their tax ID probably of the company of course and I already told you this is the rate so this is Kelly and James she's a legal assistant and this is her rate and that's how you kind of see it so these leads files can be really um, it, it can tell you a lot of information and right here if there was a ID on the client site you would put that that ID would be right here right right after these brackets not in the middle or anything else right before it um, and that's it hopefully you've learned some things about reading the leads files because I think I've pretty much said everything so good night